everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are talking about favorites and specifically February favorites. I feel like I haven't done you like this in a while so let's go ahead and uh, start talking about our favorites. So I have some makeup favorites, some hair, some books favorites and some household no, I actually don't have any household, but I do have a snack. So let's go ahead and start with the skincare favorites. First thing that I want to talk about in this video is something that's probably no news to you guys in this Origins Ginseng, the refreshing eye cream. I am almost out of it which makes me very sad, but it's just a wonderful eye cream. I just enjoy how it makes my under eye look, looks very healthy. It refreshes, I'm looking forward to put this in the morning. It's a good eye cream and I feel like the past few eye creams that I've been trying have not been there for me. So going back to this one feels good, even though I'm almost out of it, it's good has this little pink tint. More skincare. I actually got this in the Allure Beauty Box and I was like, well, I'll try it. And I'm almost out of it. And it's this Vitabrid C Dual Drop Serum. So it's like a more stable vitamin C. And honestly, um, yeah, I've been enjoying it as well. My skin would drink this up. I would put it on and you you know it's a serum so usually they take a little longer to absorb but this one absorbs almost immediately I don't have to wait for it to absorb to put my moisturizer on or anything it's pretty great and my skin does love it and it looks very like plumped up it looks healthier we'll use that word next thing is a lip product and I didn't think I would put this in my favorites, but I've just been using it every single night and day. So it's this AKAR Skin Pure, and it is a lip restoration or lip balm. It's just very nice. It doesn't have like a distinct scent. It does almost smells like citrus, I feel like. But the reason I love it so much is because it moisturizes my lips and it's not like a greasy lip balm but it works i've been enjoying it day and night and it makes your lips look shiny and it moisturizes no more cracked lips it's it's just been great I also have a primer here and it's a tiny sample so it makes me sad because I'm almost out of it so it, you'll probably see it in the empties soon because my bin is almost full. The Stellar Brilliant Primer and it just has this pink tint with like little tiny sparkles almost looks like but on your skin it just ends up being very luminizing. It makes my foundation stick better, one, and two, will look healthier. It doesn't look dry. All in all, a very good primer. I do have a few more primers to go through and I don't know how much this costs, but I might be looking into getting a new, a full size. We'll see. For makeup, I only have two things because I do have a lot of repeats from my other favorites, so I do not want to put that in because I am focusing on finishing up my makeup products, so I am just using the same thing, hoping to finish up. So something that's not in the, that video is this Laura Mercier Highlight 0.1 and I have this little sample I've had it for a while but I never like really really used it it's not the like bomb beaming highlight that's there it's more like a little subtle glow but every time I use it everyone is, is complimenting me on how my skin looks you wouldn't even know that it is a highlighter well you kind of do but it doesn't look like this little sparkles or anything. It's just, you know, you're just shining, just naturally. That's how this looks on the skin. And yeah, um, every time I'm, I'm going somewhere but I don't wanna look like I'm wearing makeup, I'm using this, it looks great. 
Speaking of wearing makeup but looking like not wearing makeup, I've been enjoying this Misha BB cream and I've talked about this BB cream many, many, many times before. Even if, I think it was in my favorites as well. Regardless, I'm almost out of it. But every time I'm trying to do a very quick makeup just to, you know, to not look too scary, I put this on. Sometimes I just put this on by itself and I'm out. It evens out the skin, but also it makes me feel more confident. It looks natural. So it's not just, you know, my skin is not perfect. So I still want to cover up a few things. This thing covers up a few things, right? <clears throat> it has a good coverage. I would call it medium coverage. Number two looks very, very natural. And when I'm trying to look like I'm not wearing any makeup, but look presentable, that's what I'm going for. It's just like looking nice, natural. It is a little dewy, but I do like that. You know, if you're out in like in summertime, you do have to powder it up, you know, and have a little powder in your, you know, purse. But like winter times, I don't even powder it. I'm just using it by itself and it's great. And that's all in makeup. So let's talk about, let's talk about hair care now. And I have two favorites in hair care. One fairly new and one, both of them are actually fairly new for me. Let's talk about the dry shampoo. So I've been watching um, Melissa, I'm not sure what's her YouTube channel name, but her name is Melissa. Anyways, she's like in, in college. Um, working towards her PA and I love her vlogs so in the vlog she was talking about this product how she she just loves it and usually what um, I hear that from youtubers I tend to not believe it a hundred percent anymore I used to and ended up buying a few things that I just didn't like and they, yeah so now I'm just taking everything with a grain of salt, you know, you never know. Maybe it is good, but it's maybe not as good as the influencers say. But she is fairly new to YouTube and it wasn't a sponsored video. She just mentioned it in some vlogs. It's this Eva NYC Freshen Up Dry Shampoo. It looks like this. It's not expensive. Well, it's not too expensive and it smells so good. So one thing with a dry shampoo, sometimes there's scent is too overpowering and not even nice scent. And I hate when they leave the white cast. And I don't even have, you know, I don't have darker hair. My hair is pretty light. But some of these dry shampoos look so white that it's embarrassing. And you have to like rub your hair for 30 minutes to kind of look like you don't have gray hair. But this, this might have a tiny little bit of like white cast, but you, like it takes five seconds and it looks fine. Smells very, very nice. And all in all, a good dry shampoo. And I feel like I will keep buying this because it wasn't too expensive and it does everything that I wanted to do. So yay for the Eva NYC dry shampoo. I loved it and I'm loving it actually. It's fairly new. I bought it about actually a month ago. So it's been a month since I've been using it. Next hair product is this. It's a tan miracle living product. And I feel like everyone knows about this product. It's a great live-in conditioner. Smells good. I love how it smells. I love how it helps my hair you know, look a little more presentable. I love how it moisturizes my, you know, dry hair. And also it helps me brush my hair. I bought this, I even hauled it like a while ago. And I just kept it on the shelf to go through whatever else I had. And I'm glad I got to this because I do enjoy it. I do enjoy it almost as much as my Moroccan oil that um I put in my favorites. But I put pause on that because I was way too close to finishing it and I, was, I wasn't ready to spend the money for it. So I stopped and started this and I'm happy with this too. But guess what? I still have the other one waiting on me. So yeah, good one. I'm, I'm so close to finishing it, 
which is great because uh, I do have another bigger bottle of this that I bought on Black Friday. So yeah, a good living conditioner, definitely inexpensive living conditioners. Unless it's on some sort of promotion or sale, mm, I don't think I would spend the money, but it is a good living conditioner. Okay, now I have one perfume for you guys. I've been trying different perfumes. I bought the, you know, the sampler that gives you little perfumes and there's a few that I love there too. But I feel like this scent is so good for like everyday kind of scent. You know, it's it's not too sweet, not too powerful, you know? It's it's just like a universal kind of cute kind of scent. And it's this the Chimichu original one. And it lasts a long time and you don't need a lot. You just spritz one time, you're good for the whole day. Okay, now let's talk about books. So, I don't know if you guys know, but I love books and I, I'm trying to read every day. And the books that I'm reading at the moment are two... Humongous, humongous, humongous. Is that? books and it's this hero of ages by brendan sanderson and if you read my blog i um i've been reading this book for a while i'm almost done though i only have this this left only four only 350 pages but <laughs> it's it's a big big book it's just very so this is the third book um, it's a trilogy and it's a slower read than I anticipated that's why I feel like it took me so long because not a lot of things are happening it's just I feel like he just implements like a little bean here a little piece of information there here a little bit but you know between those it's like a lot of dialogue and nothing happening or like nothing significant happening and usually that's what I don't like in books even though it's a wonderful written book like the way he writes you know it's it's good I love the characters mostly like all the characters I like the mystery you know the fantasy part the world just like everything is it's just a little too slow but the reason I'm putting it in my favorites is because I have been getting to the juicy parts finally and I've been just looking forward every night to get to this book and open it up and read at least a chapter so yeah I'm almost done I'm almost done but things are happening now so I'm enjoying it the other book that I've been enjoying this month and it goes hand in hand with the app that I've been enjoying um, is this app called Libby, which is L-I-B-B-Y. And it's basically books and audiobooks. It's basically your library. You go to a library, sign up, get a card. You know, it's free. And with this app, you link the library card with your app. And you are able to loan different books, you know, send it to the Kindle and read it that way. But my favorite is audiobooks. I've been reading through books, well, listening to audiobooks so much this past, I would say actually half a year. But this month I've been listening to Fire and Blood by George R. R. Martin. And if you guys don't know what book this is, it's the first book in Game of Thrones. So yeah, I've been listening to it and let me tell you. I'm 81% through the book, but I've been enjoying it a lot. Um, the audiobook is actually so good because it feels like it's read from a like, magister, like an older man, even like from the movies that you feel like it. it like, listen for a second. He meant to finish it. To continue south and destroy all that remained of the Greens who had placed Aegon II on the Iron Throne and fought to keep him there. He would reduce Storm's End first. 
it feels like I am, you know, in actual movie, you know, the way he says the story. And it's so mind blowing f through how many character we go in this book. You really need a family tree to kind of know what's going on. Because there's just so many things going on. But um, yeah, this is the book that I've been listening. And that one is the one that I've been reading. And it's just a big... It's very different. They are alike in some points. But both are very nicely written. So two books I've been enjoying. I have a, one clothing item. And one snack left. So let's talk about this snack first. I'll be honest, American wafers are not the best. They just don't taste as good as I remember the wafers from my home. But I found the perfect wafers that reminded me of home and those are these. They are so delicious. So these are the Quadratini hazelnut bite-sized wafer cookies these are so good they okay they are filling you shouldn't eat too many and um they are sweet but they are so delicious so yeah if you see this in the grocery store give it a try you'll love it i promise everyone that i gave it to try loves it even my husband does and he's not a hazelnut wafer kind of guy yeah good and the last thing we will be talking in this video are a pair of jeans and usually I am a boring kind of girl when it comes to jeans I just uh, wear regular jeans but I've been into the mom jeans yes it's a new area for me of jean world but they're so comfortable high waisted but they're not like sucking you in you know when you can't breathe they're mom jeans i mean you if you're a mom then you probably have a belly so these are your best friend and they're not too tight i've just been enjoying it i'll put a, a picture here so you can kind of see it but yeah i've been loving it and they're comfortable and yeah and they weren't too expensive i bought it from american eagle and it's called stretch mom jeans or curvy mom jeans. They're a little bigger than the regular mom jeans and I didn't know that, but I'm enjoying it because I don't have to suck anything in. It just works. And yeah, that is all I want to talk about today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you made it till here, hopefully, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Set